Never forget this. God told Adam. He said, don't eat of the tree in the middle of the garden. The day you eat of it, you will die. Say you will die. They ate it. But they noticed physically they were still alive. But they noticed they were naked. So they hid themselves. And they covered themselves with fig leaves and began to hide. Then God came that evening and said, Adam, where are thou? Where are you? Let's leave all this thou. Where are you? And he said, I heard your voice in the garden and I hid myself for I'm naked. God did not say, have you eaten the fruit? God said, who told you? Sin is not the end. It is an avenue for you to believe something. The moment you fall into sin, the devil can now go ahead and tell you what he wants to tell you. That you are not really loved. Your life is finished. You are naked. You can no longer do what God said you should do. You are no longer important. You are finished. It is called condemnation. Once you believe it, you will struggle to come out. Sin all right, is a nature, can also be an act. But condemnation is the grip. Let's take sin as a prison. The doors is condemnation. So Paul speaking to the Romans in Romans 8, verse 1. Powerful word. Romans 8, 1 says, There is now. Come on. Say it again. Say it, say it again, say it again. There's therefore now no more condemnation to them which are in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please hold on. Amongst these them, we have that one that is still struggling with pornography. You must understand that. Amongst these them, there is still that one that is struggling with lies. There is that one that is struggling with betting, gambling. I'm going to take a day to talk on the issue of gambling and how much of a serious issue it is. There is one that is addicted to phone. Are you aware phone is an addiction? In fact, it is projected that in the next five years, phone will be one of the leading causes of divorce. Okay? There is the one who is addicted to any good thing that you can no longer set your free from, is yourself free from, is an addiction. It doesn't matter how good it is. It becomes bad. There is now, therefore, no condemnation. You see, the moment you can perceive God right, that he is not the one trying to kill me or rejecting me in this, then you will actually understand that he's the one trying to bring you out. Then you'll be able to align. You must have a righteousness consciousness. You must have it. 2 Corinthians 5. I need to build. Okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to build. Once we get there, I will, I will comment. 2 Corinthians 5. Amen. Are you following me? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm trying to establish a very good foundation for us to build on. 2 Corinthians 5. Because today is going to be like four Sundays. So follow me, please. 2 Corinthians 5. We'll start the reading from... 5. We'll start the reading from verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And all things are of God, who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and had given unto us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing, somebody say not imputing, not imputing their trespasses to them, and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead. Be ye reconciled to God. For he had made him sin for us. Who knew no sin? That we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We have the nature of righteousness. We have it. What this means is that we have the nature. Righteousness is to have right standing before God. We have been justified. We won a court case without a lawyer. We have that nature. It is our nature. But we still have. Listen to what I'm saying. At some point, Paul was saying, he said, the things I want to do, I find myself not doing them. The things I don't want to do, those are the things I find myself doing. He said, there are two laws at war in my members. 
It does not change the fact that my real person is righteous. But like I said, there is something that the world will need to now do. See, if you don't understand this righteousness as a nature, you will be a judgmental person. Listen to what I'm saying. People who judge and criticize others do so because they are not even fair on themselves too. The first victim of their nature is themselves. 